Hello and welcome all you fainted eyes. I'm the tyrant CJ Middle and today I'm forcing all my subjects to listen to, to my review of Tomega Theron by Celtic Frost. If they don't listen, it's the automatic death penalty, which is by Guillotine because, I don't know, Guillotines are just pretty badass, I guess. We well, saw the way back in 1985, Celtic Frost, formerly known as Hellhammer, gave the world this iconic album and iconic album cover. Now, I actually haven't listened to Hellhammer yet, so I can't comment on Hellhammer's music versus Celtic Frost's music and, you know, how the two compare. But what I can say about this album in particular is that it is fantastic. So the main composition on this album consists of mainly thrash metal with some death metal and black metal elements. To my knowledge, no other band at the time was really mixing these genres together. So what Celtic Frost made here was something a little bit different. I know the band wanted to make something different and wanted to expand the boundaries of metal. So they basically did just that. If you look at the timeline of things, thrash metal has been around now for a few years. You had bands like Slayer and Metallica leading the charge, but when you listen to those albums, they're more on the aggressive side. Celtic Frost instead took more of a darker approach to thrash metal. I mean, sure, the music on here is aggressive as well, but you also get that dark tone too. That could be a result of the lower production on here. I don't mean like it's Dark Throne lo-fi production, but you can tell it obviously isn't clean either. And the audible bass also helps to add that nice low end to help make the music sound heavier and even a little dirtier in my opinion. And speaking about pushing the boundaries of metal, there is one track in particular which just so happens to be my favorite track on here called Necromantical Screams, which I feel is a good example of the band's attempt to expand the boundaries at the time. So this song is basically a mashup of thrash metal and doom metal. The band also adds some angelic female vocals during the chorus, as well as I believe it's a trombone, maybe a tuba or maybe both, during some sections as well. And it really all comes nicely together to create this deep brooding song. And I just really find it to be one of the greatest songs ever. But again, that's very subjective. If you couldn't tell already, I really enjoyed this album and I thought it was great. Lovers of thrash metal will enjoy it quite a bit, but I also feel like anyone who's looking for more darker, extreme metal from the 80s will enjoy it as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this review. Thank you everyone for liking and subscribing. Make sure you tell a friend to do the same. And as always, I will see you at the next review.